Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to XCOM 2. I think this is an episode where we might be able to get some things done. We have six days to go on a lot of important projects. And we just had to deal with the aliens very recently, so I think we should uh, we should be able to complete a lot of this stuff. I don't know exactly how much. But let's get paid and then let's head back to the eastern US and build a radio tower. For Eastern United States. This will make it nice and cheap to get to the facility, and maybe to complete the U.S. Uh, entirely if we want to. What is what is the bonus for that? Okay, on every mission there's a chance of resistance. Soldier will join the XCOM squad. Sure, that's that's fine. It's not super exciting. The outcome of this research can only okay. further our this I'm very interested in. So, what exactly do these weapons do? Okay, a, a sword that never misses, that's pretty great. And the Chosen's gun, which I don't know that I ever saw her fire. So now we need to decide what goes first, new weapons or new armor? And of course, that's not even a question. The best offense is a good offense, and the best the best defense, every the best everything is a good offense. Let's just get offense. Um, so do I need to actually, like... Do I need to mess with the gun and the sword, or are they just available to us now? Oh, that's right. We have enough alloys to... Yeah, we have enough alloys to afford to do that as well. Okay. So we're very close to plasma grenades being finished, and then I think we're going to make some ammo in our proving ground. Together, we have succeeded Okay, in our great. Path. Promotions for everybody, and let's assign a new action. I would very much like to uh, get this extraction done, but I think we gotta put this guy down before he becomes an even bigger problem. His level of knowledge is getting uncomfortably high, so Elena, lead the hunt, and we'll send in... Here, this is a nice, a nice low-risk way of leveling up low-level people. So send you guys out. My will do whatever is needed. Shocter's very good at stealth because he has that mask on. Right? That's how that works. Right, let's throw some levels out here. So existence is... Ooh, Chain Shot versus Volatile Mix. This is a level that used to be very difficult and now, uh, thanks to the ability point system, we'll just be buying both of these skills, I think. They're both very good. Let's grab Chain Shot first. I do love Chain Shot. Anything lets you shoot twice. It'd be very powerful, especially on a uh, on a Grenadier because of the value of Shredder. Oh, Rapid Fire! Boy, I really like Volatile Mix, especially on a Grenadier. You know, it's not bad on Radier Jim, but it would be really good on somebody whose grenades actually cover a huge amount of space. But Rapid Fire and Chain Shot. Sounds really good. Uh, both of these abilities have a cooldown, so having them both just means that you can double shot twice as often. Yeah, this is definitely worth digging into. XCOM's AP pool. Do I want to get Volatile Mix 2? Um, that's a lot of XCOM's AP, but you know what? Yeah. Alright, and then uh, Alfred Mann needs a level up. Okay, I think we don't currently have anybody with scanning protocol, and it is useful. It is useful. Let's grab that for him. Okay. We assigned our new thing. 16 days. Unfortunately, I think that's after the supply drop, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Well, I was hoping to have the hunter down by the end of the month. Looks like that's not going to happen. Oh, one other thing. I forgot almost. The reason we had existence on that mission in the first place was that we would have a captain-level grenadier so that we could get biggest booms. Chance to inflict critical damage with an explosive, I think it only does, it makes it do like two or three more damage, but that's valuable, you know? And everybody, uh, 
Everybody benefits from enemies taking more damage from explosives. Uh, unfortunately, only the Grenadiers can get the, the extra damage effect, but it's still very, very good. Yeah, man, our power level as a squad is going way, way up. So plasma grenades do more damage than base grenades, and they shred two armor instead of one. And we can do a Proving Ground project to increase all of our other uh, explosives. You know, the, the acid bombs and the frost bomb and stuff. And I think that's probably the next thing we're going to do, right? Oh, well, let's hit a couple of... Uh, let's do a couple of ammos. What I'm looking for here is Talon Ram. AP rounds I, I don't think are very good because unless everybody on your team has them, you still need to strip the armor off enemies, so I'm not super excited about that. But we are spinning the wheel here, hoping for Talon rounds. Alright, we got some. 20% bonus crit chance and plus one bonus damage on critical hits. The person who carries this is more likely than not to get a crit on enemies who are in the open, and we're going to be putting it on shotgunners. Uh, a shotgunner with talent rounds gets crits all the time, and their crits hit super, super hard, and it's just great. Do I want to blow any more cores on ammo, or do I want to save them all for other stuff? Because if we want to make ammo, this is the time to do it. I'm going to pull that instant ammo uh, resistance order at the end of the month. We have 12 cores left. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a couple more. Ooh, tracer rounds. Actually, I'm glad I did that, because these are really nice. Just plus 10 to the aim of the person who has them equipped. We'll do one more. Another dragon round? Okay. Uh, I don't remember if you can get blue screen rounds from this. You know, we have a lot of cores. I'm going to do just one, like, one or two more. Another town round and another trace round. Okay. I'm really happy with that set of pulls. That's really, really nice. And then we'll save the rest of our cores for making fancy armor and uh, fancy weapons to go on that armor. I'm happy. We're getting, like, a lot of options now. There's a lot of things we can do. Uh, ways we can equip our soldiers. Mox has lost his negative traits. We have that level 3 bond now. That's exciting. We uh, Do we have the ability to improve bond training on anybody else? No. Okay. Because Red Ear Jim is still injured and nobody else's bond is ready to go. We're actually about to finish the power coil. We've been shielding that power coil for what feels like forever. All right, let's start making contact with the Western U.S. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. You know what? For the first time, I think she's actually right about that. All right, so we could go to... We could go to New Brazil through New Mexico or through West Africa. New Australia connects to... Southern South America, but that would be um, three hops. One, two, three. I do want to get Bomb Squad. I think Bomb Squad is is valuable as well, but it's not a high priority. Yeah, we'll probably go through the Southern U.S. I don't know. It's a problem for later. For right now, let's make contact. Okay. Was the pacification of the settlement Don't worry, we're coming for you next. The elders never had any issues targeting civilians, and their chosen okay. are no different. The resistance is counting on us to protect their people. We can't let them know. intel. Or a captain level specialist. I don't love this dark event, but we're getting to the point where we're not taking a lot of missed shots anymore. <laughs> like as much as I may be being overconfident, maybe this dark event doesn't matter anymore. And we still will need more intel. We have advanced intel on the mission site and we'll be able to observe all enemy movements. It counters a dark event that, like, could be scary, I don't know. And it's the lowest difficulty of the three missions. <laughs> Although, how can I turn down Operation Swamp Stank? <laughs> yeah, I think this is the one. Protect the device. Hey, we're not even sabotaging a transmitter this time. Yeah, I think it entails the best of these rewards. Setting course for Sector 16, Indonesia. Oh, hey, Red Ear Jim's back. Oh, wait, he's no longer shaken. Was he... I think, I think he was also injured. So we may not be able to use him because he's still probably recovering from the injury. 
Yeah, alright. Um, I don't expect this to be terribly difficult, but let's not screw around, right? We'll bring, we'll bring Skelly and Captain Bananas. <laughs> let's start calling at least that all the time now. Let's, let's pull everybody else from the mission and, and build this crew. So, we're going to want to go after a facility in, like, a week or so. Which means we probably don't want to use all of the top tier people because we want some of them available for that. We'll save General Mills, obviously, because I want him to be able to go with Rattier Jim. Uh, we can probably bring Helios, although... Well, let's start with a Grenadier. You know, we'll, we'll bring we'll bring Existence. Existence is pretty badass. And then we'll bring Mute Wolf and we can work on their bond a little bit. And that gets us two Rangers. Now, I would like to get a Sharpshooter in here, if possible. Uh, it looks like it might be Reverie. And then do I just want to bring his bondmate as well? That's not a bad squad. Okay, let's figure out how we're uh, apportioning our various fancy weapons and stuff. So, what is the story with this sword? Is it different from swords in any other way? It does have considerably higher damage. Wow, like a lot higher damage. And it ignores five armor. Uh, the Arc Blade technically has a stun chance. I don't know that I've ever seen it go off, but it could stun people. Okay, I'm going to give Skelly the axes. Oh no, that's not what I want. This is what I want. We'll give Skelly the axes, because she's going to probably be a little bit more likely to be at range. I think those look really cool with the white handles. Honestly, I've, I've super come around on Skelly. She's my favorite member of the crew now. And, uh, Mute Wolf, who is our swordsman. Although, I guess Blademaster feels a little silly now that he doesn't need the aim at all. Oh uh, yeah, we'll give him Fancy Knife. So he has... He's gonna do 10 to 11 damage with this thing, because he has plus 2 damage from his melee weapon. That seems pretty alright. Uh, should we trick out his gun? Oh, her weapon is a shotgun. Or, no, it might just be a rifle. He can use rifles. So it has a, it has a superior laser sight. Uh, big crit chance boost. Superior expanded magazine. Hair trigger. Stock. Wow. And does 8 to 10 base damage. So it does 2 more damage than our guns. I think we give that to Skelly, because she's... Hold on. Is it a rifle or a shotgun? Okay, yeah, it's Ranger only. Yeah, we'll give the we'll give that to Skelly because I think probably we're gonna want to try to find as many excuses as possible for Mute Wolf to use that that great big sword. Okay, what else do we have to do? We uh the bolt caster. I think I think my reasoning for putting this on specialist is fairly sound. Where's my magnetic bolt caster? Am I going to have to find the person that it's on already and manually unequip it? I thought make weapons available was supposed to do that. Oh, because it's... He's the one who has it. He's in the squad. Well, actually, that's fine then. He can keep it. Uh, we also have the new... The, the fancy pistol. Let's go ahead and put that on you. It does the same damage as a normal pistol, but it has an aim and crit bonus, and it has a once per mission ability that guarantees a hit. There's no it's quite powerful. Shots. And then we will throw on you... I have been giving you dragon rounds. Maybe I still do. Yeah, I think that the reasoning for the dragon rounds is still solid. Uh, you will probably want a mimic beacon. His PCS slot is empty. What do we have? We have 3 HP and also 1 HP. You know what? I'm going to give him 3 HP because there's a non-zero chance that at some point he's going to do a cool sword move that's going to end with him getting, getting flanked and shot. It would be cool if that didn't kill him. 
And then his weapon doesn't have any things on it, and we do have things. Oh, well, we should laser sight his gun at the very least. Uh, it's a crit bonus, and it increase it gives you more crit chance if you're close to the enemy, and obviously that's a thing shotgunners uh, can make pretty great use of. And then, I don't even really know... I don't know that his gun needs to be upgraded much more. <clears throat> Alright, so you have the bolt caster. I feel like I'm forgetting something. We definitely want to go acid grenades in one of your slots, but... And actually, she should take tracer rounds. She has all these abilities that let her double shoot, but at an aim penalty. Using the tracer rounds to offset that means she might be able to do some really, really solid damage. And it's really great to hit a target twice with Shredder. You can break through pretty much anybody's armor with uh, with two taps of Shredder. Alright, we probably want Elise to take a med kit because she has medic abilities. Right, she does. I'm not misremembering that, right? No, yeah, she has field medic and stuff. Okay. So she takes the med kit. We have one Mimic Beacon equipped. I'm going to give her the Flashbang, too, I think. Ooh, or the Frost Bomb? No, the Flashbang. Flashbang's very powerful. Alright, Skelly, you could be... Oh, that's right, I was going to give you Talon Rounds. Yeah, anytime Skelly gets to flank somebody now, they will just get absolutely obliterated. I mean, that was already true a lot of the time. And uh, Cyber looks very mad. He looks like just a, he's an unhappy person. We could break out the other Mimic Beacon. We could also break out the other Med Kit in case something goes wrong. I think let's go Mimic Beacon. Yeah, double Mimic Beacon's very powerful. Do we want to bring the Frost Bomb? It's super good. But I also love having grenades all the time forever. You know what? I'm going to leave the Frost Bomb at home. It allows you to immediately remove an enemy from the fight for two turns. One or two turns. Um, and that's very powerful. But you know what? I like removing enemies from the fight by killing them with gunfire and explosives. All right, it's been a very um, productive episode so far. Let's hope that we can continue that. And then we have a pretty strong crew available. Even if things do go wrong here and we suffer a lot of injuries, we still have a pretty strong crew available for whatever comes next. Oh man, back to the sewers. Operation Hell Chalice. The most metal of all chalices. So we're moving in to secure the area. Eliminate all hostile contacts and protect that gear. Hostile forces are already moving to destroy the data tap okay. installed nearby. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. So we can see all of the enemies already, thanks to that sit rep. Okay, this pack's not too dangerous. That pack's not so bad anymore. We're not really that. I'm not afraid of that. That afraid of mutons anymore. We do have Big Red. This I'm a little worried about. Double Viper Archon is concerning. God, I love having perfect information though. Got it. All right, let's try to get Reveri up on this thing. Moving to position. Where do we want to put everybody else? We want Existence to be in a place where she will likely get her double shots off. Running. So let's get real close. And we probably won't see a Chosen on this mission, right? They don't They don't tend to appear... It seems like uh, they don't appear on back-to-back -back missions, generally. Solid copy. Man, everybody has run and gun now. This ability points thing is really cool and powerful, but I do worry that it's maybe leeching some of the specialness out of our out of our dudes. So everybody gets to have all the good abilities. Hmm. I'm not really sure where we want it. We don't have enough cover for everybody. You 
have him run up this side. Try to establish a flank. Actually, this might be a good place for you to go. Boltcaster has very high accuracy. And a lot of what uh, Cyber wants to get done can be done at a pretty great range. Ten four. I wish I'd moved Mute Wolf into one of these forward positions. Well, whatever. Okay, so provided these... Oh, wow. What I was about to say is provided these guys don't go very far, we can, uh, we can open up on them next turn. But they really, really did go very far. So when we actually get to the device, it's going to be just a, like a bloodbath. Hmm. Roger that. Well, let's keep following them up. Hopefully they'll turn around and come back in here. Got it. Moving. What is confirmed? Moving out. I'm a little concerned. That might be a little too exposed. Move, move, move. Although... Well... He can actually just take up a cover position up here and drop down on his target like Batman. I kind of think it's probably a bad idea to leave him up here. We, we do have to move him we'll up do. with the team. Just in case we end up having to chase these guys into the next room. But it would be really cool if they didn't make us do that. Oh, now they're attacking the thing. And the other enemies are running directly on top. This really sucks. I don't... I don't know how much... I don't know how much health that has. I mean, listen. This is bad in the sense that we can't... We can't attack now without popping two pods, but... Think about how good a grenade launch onto these guys would be. Her grenades do six to seven damage and shred two armor. No, it's suicide. The fact that I can't see the health... You used to be able to see the health of the transmitters. I don't know how much time we have. Because I can't see the health of this thing. And we can't really move forward. There's not anywhere that's in cover. Not anywhere that will continue to be in cover anyway. Do we have to just go now and accept the fact that we have to fight... All, all of these enemies? Man, this is a really hard group. No, I think we have to wait one more turn. But we can't even, like, close in on them. Overwatch. Maybe I should put intentionally put somebody in a flankable position to increase our chances of popping o their Overwatch on our turn. I'm gonna do that. Elise is a brave... Uh, a brave, intrepid fighter. Maybe it should be like. Oh, that's right. Mute Wolf doesn't have. Moving to Overwatch. He doesn't have Phantom. His his stealth will break when everybody else's breaks, which means he will get to shoot. Overwatch. All right. We need to we need to not have these six guys on top of each other. Eight damage, man. I don't know how much time we have left. It feels like it can't be too much. And those guys only like half moved. Well, I think we have to do it this time. I don't think we have a choice. Okay. <laughs> Basically guaranteed to get the job done. Hard to argue with that. Do I want to put anybody on Overwatch? I don't think so. Everybody has too many fancy abilities and stuff. Things we might want to be able to do. Alright, let's go. These are some pretty good weapons. Alright, come on. Come out here. You know you want to get in firing range. 
All right, obviously this guy is the prime target. A viper is scary, but not that scary. Yeah, probably, probably, probably not that eye. All right, I mean, just take him. It sucks that he's so close. It also sucks that he has dodge, which is like the worst thing in the universe. Pretty good rapid fire odds. We don't need her to hit him too, too hard. Maybe I should go chain shot instead. I'm thinking we might want to save rapid fire for when we have to fight the heavily armored guy. The rapid fire gives you a better chance of landing a shot, whereas chain shot has a slightly better chance of landing two shots, because I think the way this is worded it makes me think that the aim penalty doesn't apply to the second shot, that you get a normal. Yeah, let's try this. It would be really cool if we could kill this guy. Alright. Oh, dodge is, dodge is really frustrating. There's nothing, it's not like, ah. Dodge is just really dumb. So we only have these three left. We're gonna have to break Skelly's stealth to fight to kill this pack. Well, I don't want to go for a melee attack because I don't want to run into the open. Because I don't want Nathan to accidentally pop that pod over there. And he has five health, so we can't uh, we can't kill him with the uh, with the combat protocol. We have to fight from here. Oh, she can't... Ah, there's a box between her and the Viper. Uh-oh. It looks like the Viper gets to live. Which means the Viper is going to pull somebody. Okay, Archon down. That's find? good. The Viper is going to go for a pull. It may or may not hit. But since we can't stop the Viper from going for the pull, maybe I don't break stealth? With Skelly? Yeah, I think that maybe is the action. The Viper's gonna grab somebody, though. Oh, and because I don't have normal vision of these guys, I'm not getting an accurate target preview on them, so I don't know where, uh, where I'll make them aggro. So he's on half cover behind some rubble. I mean, if she closes to here, she's probably got him. Half cover at shotgun range is not very effective. Yeah, I think we have to we have to try to kill him. Position compromised. Oh. All right. Damn inaccurate target preview. Well, I've just made things much worse. However, that Muton won't have a shot if we back off. Yeah, shit. Okay. Um, maybe the play is run and gun forward? To kill this guy? If I'm behind half cover, there's a pretty good chance of that Viper snagging me into this room, which will immediately pop the other two pods. This is bad. I put us in a bad place with my bad play. <laughs> uh, chain shot is not not terribly likely to work. This cu custom crosshair is kind of neat. Is there a place I can run and gun to where I have decent cover from this side, but I also have a flank? No. <clears throat> well, this is bad. I think I have to back up. To prevent myself from being able to be pulled into that room. Do I want to run and gun so I can still take the shot? Yeah, probably. Moving to fire position. That's annoying, already. but... We still have a better than half chance of killing him. I'm not going to throw the axe just yet. Let's save that for when the situation is even more dire. Okay. You see Casual... 
Casual 15 damage, no big deal. Oh, that's right, and then she gets a free move every time she kills something. Um... Hmm. That's interesting. She won't be pullable from here. Yeah, you know what? This is maybe a better a better spot for her to wait in. Okay, and those guys are not going to become visible. Okay, yeah, they didn't pack. And they didn't pop. This actually may turn out to be a good thing, us grabbing the muton pack early. Getting real worried about the health of that transmitter, though. So he can't see any of us from where he's at. Oh, he, oh, he can see... Right. He can see the guy with the bolt thrower. Okay, that's... Very annoying, but not the end of the world. Okay, so Reveri unpoisoned himself instantly. Which I appreciate. Do I have the ability to combat protocol? No, I cannot combat protocol the muton, the muton from here. And the muton's standing in a place where if we if we make it so that we can see him, we'll pop the other pack. It's like tactics or something. I'm trying really hard to select the sniper. Okay, here we go. This is really bad. Uh, there's not really anything we can do about this. I can throw out a Mimic Beacon to try to lure them out of the room. I don't really want to go in there, but we also don't have a lot of time to play with here. Maybe I do reveal myself, causing these guys to run forward, and then just trust existence to lay a very large, very damaging grenade on them. But I have to be careful how I do it because I don't want to pop. I, I don't want to pop this pack if I can avoid it. We might be able to get away with not doing that because of the range involved. So I feel like running least to here. Yeah, let's run at least to here. Now we can combat protocol that muton. We could also just flashbang the pair of them. I'm gonna save my flashbang. Things are not that dire yet. Let's combat protocol the muton to kill his suppression. Okay. Oh yeah. Then we'll reload, and now we get this shot. It's not um. It's not a big deal for the enemies to be in cover against the bolt thrower because the bolt thrower just is crazy powerful. A 60% chance, and he actually is guaranteed to get the kill. He will do nine damage, which is seven health through two armor. If he gets the if he gets the hit, he gets the kill. Yeah, let's go for it. Because if he can kill the muton, all right, then we actually don't have to advance. We can shoot at the at the snake from where we are. Can't rapid fire? Oh, insufficient ammo, sure. She does have an auto loader. We'd be at 67% um, chance to hit on the rapid fire, which is a much, a much greater chance of a hit landing, but I think I'm actually gonna save it. The cooldown on, the, on these double shot abilities is kinda long. And I want rapid fire available for the turn where we have to deal with the um, the robot. So 46%. He's at 68% with the pistol. And the pistol shot's lethal. Actually, I'm going to shadow fall this. This pistol shot is guaranteed to hit. It will also give Riveri concealment, which is not, I think, of any value. But I just really want to make sure the snake dies. Because if it were to pull somebody out into uh, into the open here. We'd have to deal with that group without having a lot of actions available to us. I'm ready. 
So let's get everybody like reloaded and put together, and we are going to uh, we're gonna have to pop this pod next turn. Keep the game moving. I guess I'll just move him up here. I feel kinda weak. He was already poisoned. Scanning. Scanning. Being poisoned affects your accuracy negatively a small amount, but it won't be a big deal for him because, you know, can't miss a sword strike. Alright, I think we are going to pop both of the packs when we move in here. Don't think there's any way around it. Okay. Really? Wolf's poison broke, but Skelly got poisoned by proximity. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Uh... Yeah, there's no version of this that is anything other than bad. So we can move Elise forward. No, we just have to we just have to pop these guys. So I'm gonna run to here. Yeah, this will definitely have Finally. vision of them. We might be able to get just the one pack. Although maybe we wanna pop the second pack so that they stop shooting at the Transmitter, I wish I... Okay, we can see the transmitter's health bar. Okay, no, it can it can endure another turn. We'll be all right. So that asshole's on Overwatch. This might be a good time for our new plasma grenades. And then we could have Elise uh, send an action point over and have her do a... Uh, have her do a chain shot once his armor's broken up. What are the odds of the chain shot working out right now? Very poor. I'm poisoned. Right. At least can fix that too, actually. Let's do this. Mm, I kind of want to have existence. Shoot the grenade. I'm just worried that there's no way to do that without exposing ourselves to the Overwatch shot. Alright, well, I'm going to have Elise do... Oh, she doesn't have medical protocol. So we need her to actually get over there, which she cannot do. Well, actually, she can. She can. Uh, she can run and gun, <laughs> run and gun a med kit. Yeah, I don't love the idea of just eating an Overwatch shot, but I think maybe we have to. Nah, I'll just use one of these grenades. My thinking was, I really wanted to get Existence over here to do the grenading, because she could hit the Spectre and the Mech at the same time. But okay, so we'll do that to remove the Overwatch. Set him up, knock him down. We will Got run and gun a med kit. Get back in there. Med kit removes the poison, so Skelly now has the ability to shoot correctly and won't actually take any damage from the poison, which may mean that she never actually even um, requires healing. Oh, yeah. right, you have an autoloader, so let's autoload. And we'll step out here and... Maybe I don't even need to do the grenade. That's affirmative. Maybe it'd be, it'd be better for me to just rapid-fire this robot. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, he has... Uh, I was going to say, he has enough health that um, we really need her to hit that. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. Uh, so we can get a combat protocol off. Guarantee quite a bit of damage on him. I really, really still don't think it's a good idea to run in there. Actually, we could pass existence a teamwork point. She could try again on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be really good if she could hit this. And she has an excellent shot. She hits this. We combat protocol him with uh, with Cyber, and then I've got to I've got to change his nickname. This is a terrible nickname. Over 
Okay, so that's the heavy mech down. We have an advanced soldier who I think might have a grenade, and I will be sad if he uses his grenade. Uh, and then beyond that, we just have this guy, who's going to be a pain in the ass, but he's not going to hurt anybody this turn, so... There's no point in going on Overwatch. I should just try to find a spot to be able to shoot from next turn. But I don't want to run right up in front. That would be potentially suicidal. I mean, I guess probably the best place to get my shots from is back here. Already there. Alright. Mute Wolf still has a point left, but he can't really do anything with it. Can we arc a Mimic Beacon around the wall? We can, kind of. This might be good because it might encourage the, uh, the soldier not to throw a grenade if he does have one. And we have another Mimic Beacon to use for later, too. Other than this, I don't know what we could have Wolf do. So, yeah, let's... Let's do this in an attempt to make this turn not annoying. I assume he won't be fooled by it because it's going to be immune to his thing. Yeah. But that's fine. What I, what I really wanted was for the soldier to consider this a primary target instead of uh, throwing a grenade at us. Okay, so where's he going to go? Come on, go this way. Yes. Good, good, good. Okay. We can deal we can definitely deal with that. Nathan's got that guy for sure. Yep. Okay. And that that guy's in an extremely flexible position. And the relay can probably take one more hit. I know. Oh, the poison didn't wear off. That sucks. Yeah, he has no ability to shoot. I'm assuming Hunkering Down, yeah, Hunkering Down will not allow you to cleanse poison from yourself. So let's see here. We can get a slash off on this guy, no question, but it's not quite going to be enough damage. So what do we do to add a little bit of damage? I mean, we could use the other combat protocol. And actually, that's only one of our two remaining combat protocols. Yeah. You know what? I like that. So I'm going to have him... Revival Protocol doesn't clear poison. Yeah, alright. I'll just have him reload, and then Combat Protocol that guy, and then Mute Wolf can sword him in the face. This is enough, right? No, it's not. Shoot. Do you have a grenade? Grenade does four to five. The grenade might do enough. Mm, it's very awkward. Well, we actually have a better than 50% chance to... I'm going to try to hit this shot. Just put it right through the wall, man. Okay. Now he's dead. There we go. We figured it out. We found it. Like this, so you're in cover. No longer a threat. Oh, no promotion on that? I'd really like to get Mute Wolf another level or two so you can get the. get all the cool sword guy skills. Alright, take that free reload. She's really getting her money's worth out of that, uh. <laughs> that auto loader now. Yeah, I mean, let's just let this guy have it, right? We don't have to do anything fancy here. I'm sure we can afford to move up a little bit without popping that last pack. And we still have a lot of really powerful abilities left. So what's he got left? One hit point? Who has a stock? You have a stock. Yeah. This what we're looking for. Yeah, we'll, what we'll uh, They're on to me. guaranteed lethally miss this attack. And then, uh... I think there's actually no chance of the enemy 
the enemy pack moving. Sure thing. Uh, because they're gonna stand still and shoot at the Overwatch. at the transmitter. So we'll let them do that one last time. And now this turn we just have to make ourselves known to them. All right, can he please? Can the poison just wear off? It's crazy that that's still happening. All right, let's have existence lead the charge. No, let's let's have Skelly do it. Skelly can move to this high cover position and grab loot. Okay, superior expanded magazine. That's nice. Three extra shots in the mag. Ah, unfortunately. It is now the case that we can't use an explosive near the uh, device without destroying it. So what's my play here? You are a priest. That guy's a shield guy. So I think like run and gun to here guarantees me a kill on the priest. I bet between the between the axe throw and the chain shot and uh... oh dual strike. I forgot about this. Ooh, let's try to make use of that. We can do some cool stuff with that, I bet. So I'm going to run and gun. Getting in close. Finally. Get right up in uh, in here. And then I want Elise in a place where she has a decent shot on that guy. What's she got now? 29%. Could be better, but unfortunately she can't really get anywhere. Although she can double move... Ah, it's really awkwardly set up. Yeah, she can double move and get a get a free action shot off of this, which is what I'm going to have happen. Good to go. Let's use this cool ability. To be perfectly honest, you know what? I'm assuming that I actually don't know, like, I'm assuming that this takes a shot the way Elise would take the shot. So maybe it's better that we just chain shot this dude. Because both of the shots are very likely to hit, and it's a guaranteed kill. Yeah, it's probably this is probably better. Wow, he dodged and then I missed. I can't... Boy. That's very surprising. Let's, um... Oh, this is just, this is gonna pop his stasis, isn't it? I keep forgetting about that stasis thing they do. Well... Because my poison cannot end... I'm still unable to participate. Yeah, so he's in stasis mode. Let's step up, and then we will uh, we'll drop a pretty serious grenade on the shield bearer. I can probably knock him through the floor here. All right. The grenade aiming is so finicky sometimes. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Now, that does that. I have to be I have to be on the second floor visually to aim at the guy, but I can't tell from this position. If I'm also hitting Skelly. No, okay. I am not hitting Skelly when I do it this way. Alright, she lights up in blue when I'm hitting her. Okay. Yep, yeah, this is the one. So she's got these super grenades. He's actually got a lot of uh, health left. Yeah, all right. We just have to double move. Man, this sucks. Rolling out. We got two spread out. I don't really have a good position to take up with him. Skelly's gonna get shot, man. Rolling out. 
I was hoping that that, uh, that fall was going to do a little bit more damage, but I also hadn't actually done the math. However, there's a pretty good chance that that guy's just going to do his, um... Uh, what do you call it? His shield move, right? Especially with him being low on health. Yeah, how did it destroy the wall that she was hiding behind? That doesn't make any sense. How did a grenade that landed to the northeast of her destroy the wall that was west of her, but without including the space that she was standing in? That's very broken. All right, let's uh, let's figure this out. So we want to kill Shield Guy. Nathan, you got him. You do. So Shield Guy down removes everybody else's shield. to down. crouch behind this small amount of cover. He can pass his teamwork point to Kim. Who unfortunately cannot get quite close enough to... Oh, he can get close enough to throw a, uh, throw a grenade at this guy, though. Yeah, so we'll run him over here, we'll teamwork him. Ready to I'm gonna win. reload, and then I'm gonna teamwork him. No, teamwork. I pressed teamwork. I give you strength. The way you said that, kinda... I feel like that was a little condescending. Like, can you understand me? This is under control. I have to admit, I was expecting the, um... All are down and the area is I was expecting the poison to wear off on its own, the way it does. I don't know that I've ever seen poison tick that many times on a soldier before. Sure, we did an okay job. But it wasn't a great job, and I'm going to shame them a small amount for it. Just so that they remember that last time. We did an okay job. Okay. Well, it's a victory. It's a victory with a lot of our blood on the ground. It's not my favorite kind of victory. And despite the destruction left in their wake, XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue That's true. their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We That's also true. To the elders for their support in ending this menace once and for all. You know, this guy, he seems to know what's up. Okay, well, it was an alright mission. We didn't get as many promotions as I was hoping, but... Alright, uh... Scanning protocol and field medic are both useful. Let's pick up field medic. Let's, let's get some more... medics out there. Meat Wolf did get to level up. Hmm... Run and gun is, uh... Is probably the right pick here. I'm thinking like, obviously, run and gun doesn't do a whole lot for sword use because you can already double move and hit people with the sword. But there are some situations, like we saw here, where it's just not safe to move up on them and use the sword. And he still does have a shotgun. Let's not ignore that, right? This isn't bad either, and it could allow him to get cool flanking moves off. You know what? Maybe this is the way to go. I'm gonna do it. We'll see if I regret it. We could always go and get him run and gun as well. And Very is gonna pick up death from above. Wow, he... His will was really sapped by all that poisoning. Okay, we have another bond level up available. That's cool. Superior magazine, also cool. Oh, commander. Oh, that's a good dark event to have countered. 
Uh, that would have added, I believe, major breakthroughs add two boxes to the Avatar project. So let's get a little bit more done here. Uh, the missions don't usually come in super quick succession if you're not initiating them yourself. So let's get that power coil shielded. I want to finally have that done. I feel like that's been that's been happening forever. We're not going to be able to start building the shadow chamber until after the supply drop, I think. Um, but... Okay, alloys and crystals, good stuff. Maximum power consumption reached. Yeah, so 200 supplies. All right. We can start construction on the shadow chamber whenever you're ready, Commander. Let's start excavating the next room. And actually, you know what? I should have thought of this before. Although I guess I did run myself pretty low on Illyrium. But let's do this. Power relay upgraded. And then unassign the engineer from the power station, now that she's no longer necessary, and have her help with the excavation. 30 days. Okay. So, it's going to be 30 days before we can move toward the next facility. That's not great, but if we wait to take out this new facility, or the, the facility that we just got access to, until after the Avatar project starts up its progress again, so that we get maximum, uh, maximum stoppage time, I think we should be okay. Okay, we can't improve that soldier bond because of wounds. Alright, Radier Jim is back in two... Yeah, unfortunately, the way we're stringing our injuries together, I'm not ever able to take the engineer out of the infirmary. That's ah, really unfortunate. Well, I guess things are going all right. We're still way off of our next plasma rifle, or we're still way off of our next big tech upgrade. Oh, the Proving Ground's not doing anything right now. What am I thinking? We don't have the supplies to start work on other stuff. We could just start making experimental heavy weapons. We will want these eventually. Once we get our next level of armor upgrade, we'll make some fancy upgraded armor suits. So we do want to have some experimental heavy weapons on hand at that time. Yeah, this is the thing we can start doing. It doesn't cost anything to make them. We'll get started right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. So it wouldn't be the end of the world to pull the engineer from the proving ground either. We could start a little more excavation. Although, like I said, I don't think we're actually going to need to. No, I think maybe we just leave things as they are. Okay, well, that is going to be it for us for today. Oh, we don't even have this unlocked yet. So, yeah. Come back next time. We're going to... Uh, we make contact with the Western U.S. We're going to keep building up our power. Our troops are really, really strong now. We're getting to the part of the game where we just have a ton of options in combat. And uh, if I just, you know, play a little tighter, we might get through this yet. And we'll see you then.